Today I'm going to show you how to add curl in your hair using the Dyson Airwrap using these attachments. One goes right and then one has the airflow flowing left so that way you can um, do both sides of your head and it's really simple technique. I start by blow drying my hair and I'll post a link for my blow dry video and then I will show you how to do the wrap. Okay, so I always start by adding a heat protectant into my hair. Right now I'm using the Genesis Thermique. So when I use the air wrap attachments, I like to add a product that has a little more hold to my hair so that the curl lasts longer throughout the day. For this, I'm just gonna use the Kerastase Line Croyable Blow Dry Cream and it's gonna have a little memory and hold. And what's cool about this product is like if tomorrow I wanted to add some beachy waves into my hair, I can just comb it out and the product will remelt and reset the new style. So it's very, versatiles. I always add oil into my hair. When I finish my blow dry using the smoother attachment on the Dyson Airwrap. So now I'm going to section out the crown. Now that my crown is sectioned out, I'm dividing my hair in half, pulling it forward, and I'll start with the left side. So an easy way to see which one you need to use is see where the arrows are facing and you want it to face away from your face. I'm just gonna attach it. It's gonna be on high fan, high heat, full power. And I'm still gonna take vertical sections in my hair. Smooth it out and start at the bottom. I like to wrap it a little bit to give it a head start. And then just pull up. Once the hair is dry, you can do the pull shot or just turn it off and release it. Wrap the ends, let it go, and just pull the dice in towards your scalp. Get it nice and hot, and then you can just push up on this lever to give it a cool shot if you need to set the hair a little more to give it some hold. Turn it off, let it go. And you can see the hair is getting really curly. Take a diagonal forward section here, leaving this little bit of hair forward to do later. So I've applied the other attachment and you can see the arrows are now facing this way away from my face. Start by taking a vertical section in the back. Always keep this Dyson air wrap facing up. I find it's easier. I'm gonna wrap the ends around and pull towards my scalp. Give it a cold shot and then release the hair. Moving on to the second section. Depending on how curly you want the hair will depend on how big of a section you take. So the smaller the section, the curlier the hair. The bigger the section, the more loose the curl is gonna be. And then you can turn it off and release the hair. I'm taking a diagonal forward section on the right side. Now you can see how curly it got. So now I'm gonna go in and do the crown section. You can do either attachment. Um, it's gonna depend on which hand you're more comfortable with. I'm gonna use my right hand and the right side attachment because that means the hair is gonna be blowing back when I do it. So take the crown out, divide it in two sections. I always bring the top section forward 
and start with the bottom because it's just easier to lay each section on top of each other. So same thing, wrap the ends and then just pull it down towards your scalp. Cool shot. And then I grab it all so it's kind of like a hot set. And you can clip it if you want more volume. I'm just going to let it go. Next section, same thing. Just release it. So after you're done wrapping the hair, it's going to be kind of loose, kind of all over the place. And all you have to do is shake it up. I'm gonna set it with some hairspray. This one's extremely light, so I'll still be able to brush through it. It's not gonna be really hard. I like to do it at the crown to make sure it doesn't split. Another cool trick I like to do is spray my fingers if I have anything around the face. There you go, beautiful blowout.